Local beekeepers say this prolonged wet winter made it difficult for bees to get enough food or pollen. And some say opportunistic viruses are surfacing more than they've ever seen before. And production is the lowest they've had in years. But as Kenny Choi tells us, the bees may have one last surprise buzzing in their hives of honey. The sound of buzzing bees. It's what beekeepers want to hear. Jennifer Berry fires up a smoker to calm and check her pollinators. Temperatures are warming, with the familiar sound returning too. But the past few months have been eerily silent. With the cold temperatures, a lot of the, the foragers are going out and not coming back because of the wind and the, and the rain. Honeybee hobbyists across the bay say production is down significantly. At Woolly Egg Ranch in Mill Valley, this year has been one of the lowest producing seasons in over a decade. Each hive is down, you know, 50%. Compared to normal, we're only getting about 50 pounds per hive. Wet winter weather and cool spring temperatures impacted the production of cocoons and queen bees, essential to a thriving hive. They gave up on all the ones on the edges, and where it was warmer in the hive, they were able to keep it warm, and that was really the, the wind. You can see it. Normally, all of these would be full. Healthy hives mean a robust harvest for Ken Kirkland's small farm. The, the bees are going out today. It was actually raining yesterday, so they stayed inside. Vegetables and fruit trees have responded differently. So everything's delayed this year. Everything's delayed. The soil was too wet and it was too cold. Too much rain in a short amount of time can be problematic, but beekeepers are hopeful a super June bloom could make up for the small amount of honey produced so far. Yeah, I see lots of pollen going in over here. Uh, lots of pollen going in there too, so hopefully we're getting a lot of production today. Honey or not, Barry, a biologist who's been a hobbyist for 20 years now, has launched a business tending hives and rearing queen bees. Being in the midst of these incredible insects is what matters. The minute I opened that hive, I, I got the bug, they call it. You can get really close and really intimate with them and see all sorts of things going on. You can see the queen doing her work, you can see the larvae, you can see them producing honey. Got to make sure that the zipper is closed. Kirkland's family farm partnered with Jennifer Berry's Bee Company six years ago and sells its honey at local farmers markets and has seen the magic of the prolific pollinators. Once we started getting multiple hives, as you can see, uh, my fruit production went through the roof. I get plums, apples, berries. They're just hoping this year was an anomaly and that familiar buzz doesn't become silent too often.